I love you. So today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this. Isn't she cute? It's just some mountains with some fluid dye and some trees, that's all. First I'm gonna show you everything you need to make her and then we're gonna paint together. gonna do first is grab a blue tape and we're gonna make basically little triangles so the triangles are gonna be your mountains and you could add whatever kind of mountain you want whatever size you want and however many you want I think the best part about starting a canvas is that like you never know what it's gonna look like yet until it's done and I think that's pretty cool of us that we can just turn it into something amazing just like that a little mountain and you're gonna want to make sure at this part you want it to be like a little tippy top, you know? And I'm just gonna add another mountain, a smaller one, let's say, right here. And now what we're going to do is cover in these white parts with tape, just to keep it really safe and all white, you know? And now that the tape's laid down, we're gonna pick out our colors. So these Craft Smart ones or the Apple Barrel ones work really super good for this. So if you could hear like liquid in it, you know, that means it's a good one for fluid art. The ones that I wouldn't recommend for fluid art is these ones in the tube because they're really pasty and they don't move around as much when you move the canvas around. So I picked out my colors and we are ready to go. And we're just gonna pour our colors wherever we want. Wherever you want. Mm -hmm, it's true. Now you want a lot of paint, but at the same time, you don't want to use too much paint. You know? So, um, yeah. I would just be careful with how much you use because you don't want to waste your paint, you know? And now after you have all your paint down just like that, we're just going to tilt it and whatever way you want it to go. Or you could just slightly just bang it a little bit, you know, whatever way you want. So now what I do is get a little brush and I'll just kind of mix the colors together. Now normally when I do this, I kind of make them go all the way off the thing so the whole thing's covered in fluid art, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that and put black paint in it. So now that your fluid art part is done, I have some glitter. If you don't have glitter, that's okay. And now you're gonna let it sit for a whole 24 hours. I know, it's a lot, right? Well, it needs to dry. Whatever you do, don't put it next to a fan for it to dry because it'll crack the paint and you don't want that to happen. So I would just um, let it sit somewhere where it's safe. All right, I'll see you when it's dry. Yay, it's all dry. So now all we're gonna do is pull off the tape. Whee. Now it's okay if some of the tape didn't work as planned because we're just gonna draw over it anyway. Ooh, we got some good ones. Now what I'm gonna do is get my black paint pens. I use Deco Color, they are, they are the best ones ever. Oh my gosh, they're so good. 
And we are just gonna make the shape of our mountains. I'll show you. Just like this. And now what we're gonna do is just make some kind of squiggly lines going down. You start from the tip of the mountain and you just go down. And now we're gonna add some forest trees. You can add them wherever you want, however big you want, and however many you want, because why? This is your masterpiece, man. I'm just showing you the way. So all I gotta do is go upwards, just a line. Just a simple line. Then you make the bottom like that. And then after that, all you do is add small lines at the top and then kind of bigger at the bottom, not too much though. On both sides. Like a little tree. Happy little tree. Just like that. However many you want, this is your tree. And then all you do is just add little tiny like I guess lines on both sides of these lines. And then you keep going. Yay, look at my tree, so cute. So now that you're done with your little trees, we are gonna add some patterns and shapes inside our mountains. And I feel like I've teached you how to do these before, but I'll just show you again. So you can do any shape you want. You can do these ones like that. Or you can do like circles or any, any shape that you think of, any pattern that you think of, just go for it. Cause it's gonna be awesome either way, you know? Now I have my white paint pen and I'm just gonna add some little stars up here and then it's gonna be done. Wasn't this fun to create? Did you have fun painting? Thanks so much for watching and painting with me. I hope you had a fun time and I love you so much. <laughs>